Reporting live from the Orchard Express at Blue Mountain in Collingwood, Ontario. It's live from last week, episode 58. Let's go! Welcome you, my brother Jay Walkers to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Before we go on this week, just want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. But I just wanted to ask you guys, do you remember this scene from a Live from Last Week episode in the past? She went to this place up near Midland and Finch to a place called Chungchun, a place that makes specialty Korean style corn dogs. And she treated me to two different kinds of corn dogs. The first one was interesting. It was coated in ramen noodles on the outside and had some special dressing drizzled on top. Well, guess where I am today? At Chung Chun. And I'm about to get a hot dog for the wife as a quick two month anniversary present for her today. So now that I got my hot dog for the wife, I'm gonna do a quick Uber delivery to her, keeping it warm with the seat warmers in the mini. And I'm hoping when she gets it, she'll like it. Here's your delivery gift. Thank you. Try it out. Mm. How is it? How <laughs> sauce. Yay. But on to earlier today, when I went on a mission, when I visited my Tito Noel at his graveyard site, because today, January 25th, is his anniversary of his passing. Well, all right, guys, I'm here at Highland Memorial Gardens near Steeles and the 404 to visit my Tito Noel at the cemetery, because today is his 14th anniversary of when he passed away. But the thing is, because of the snowstorm, this is how deep the snow is all around the cemetery. So in order to go visit him, I gotta step knee deep in snow. Oh my goodness. Whoa. It's cold, guys. So maybe I might come up with a plan. Let's try putting on some snowboarding boots and break out my ever trusty $12 shovel from Walmart. Okay, pretty sure it's here somewhere. So after 20 minutes or over 20 minutes of digging in the cold, I still haven't found them. Let's keep going guys. Wow, this is tough guys. Maybe if I use some clues from YouTube from previous episodes, they'll help me with my luck. All right, so based on that last YouTube video that I was here on All Souls Day, should be right around here. Right guys, right? It literally is right here. Has to be. Oh my gosh. I think I found it, guys. I think I found them. Finally. All right, Jay. For future reference, it's where this bush is. And 180 degrees is just to the right of this tree. And that tree is to 90 degrees of here. And that tree over there is 90 degrees up here. All right guys, so after a full hour of digging all this area, try to find my Tito to give him some respects for his anniversary day. Just want to let you guys know that we finally found him. So I brought a couple of candles for Tito Noel, but after all that, my lighter won't even work. Tito Noel, just want to 
pay respects to you on the day that you passed away 14 years ago. If it wasn't for your advice on being persistent, I probably would have not dug up all this area. But yeah, I'm glad that you had an impact on my life like that, helping me learn the game of volleyball. And please keep praying for us, keep thinking of us. We're thinking of you at this time and keep uh, Tita Malin company up there in heaven. All right, thanks again, Tita Noel. Bye for now. But yeah, anyways, guys, I'm going in tonight for my fifth shift in six nights. So I guess I'll just see you guys again tomorrow. Hey y'all, so I just got in from doing my fifth shift in six nights and I realized that today, January 26th, is my parents' wedding anniversary. So I just wanted to wish Tito Eddie and Tita Mone a happy wedding anniversary. And in honor of that, I'm just gonna spontaneously do a quick video for them. And hopefully, in order to sleep after my night shift, I can get this video done within the next hour. So without further ado, here's your feature presentation, mom and dad. Happy anniversary. All right, so after getting a lackluster sleep post night shift this afternoon and catching up on a couple of chores around the condo, including laundry, I'm heading over to see my Saga family, hoping that I'll be able to drive through this wintry, snowy weather because I'm definitely down to try out some Korean and Japanese food for which they are ordering in tonight. So after making it through the snow and finally getting to eat my Korean slash Japanese food today, we got to feast a little bit, plus enjoy a new season of the amazing race, All Stars. And not to mention, remember this scene of the progress of the kitchen here in Saga? Well, here's some more progress pictures of the new flooring that was installed recently. But yeah, before calling it a night tonight, we just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with a friend that I made when I went to World Youth Day in Europe. And this birthday greeting goes out to you, Justine. Happy birthday, Justine. Next, we have a birthday greeting to one of my childhood elementary school friends, with whom I used to play youth baseball and soccer with. This one goes out to you, Durand. Happy birthday, Durand. Next is a birthday greeting to one of my Ryerson nursing classmates. This one goes out to you, Lorraine. Happy birthday, Lorraine. And last but not least, a birthday greeting to a pair of twins who were soccer standouts back in our youth and who I shared an interest with in wrestling back in the day. This birthday greeting goes out to Mark and Patrick. Happy birthday, Mark and Patrick. I'm hoping that all you guys that are celebrating your birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and had great celebrations for your birthdays this year. Woo, just a chilly day here in Mississauga. And before we make our commute back home, then go in for my first of my two night shifts tonight, we just have a birthday greeting to one of my former co-workers, my fellow Eeyore, Kate. Happy birthday, Kate. Hope you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. So after yet another crazy busy night shift last night, and only sleeping for this much earlier today, the wife and I are at the bank, because today is Payday. Payday, payday. But after checking our bank account on this frigid day in Toronto, I realized that I still have one more night shift to go tonight. My seventh night shift in nine days. So guys, I'm pretty excited to go in for work tonight because after that, I have four days off. But before I do, I have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. 
Starting with a quick birthday shout out to my Tita Mafe. Happy birthday, Tita Mafe. Next, I have a birthday greeting to one of my family friends in England, Strawberry. Happy birthday, Rosna. Last but not least, I have a birthday greeting to one of my childhood friends, Pika Pika. Happy birthday, Domi. Hope all my friends and family celebrating their birthday today are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and have great birthday celebrations this year. So, after yet another busy night shift, finishing up my seventh shift in nine nights, and a frigid morning commute. What? Negative 19.5 degrees Celsius today? What? I dropped off the wife to work this evening, only to find myself back here in Saga to house it for the night. I also wanted to recap a couple of things that I was able to do yesterday, which included video calling the family while the sister live streamed from Ottawa, while she skated on the world famous Rideau Canal. Which also reminded me of the time that I visited her in the nation's capital and made this music video. Which on YouTube, you guys can actually check out the link somewhere up here or in the link in the description down below. The wife and I also continued on watching a series that we saw on Disney Plus, which was The Amazing Race All Stars, season number 24 which ended up with the finalist, just like shooting stars, skydiving out of a plane with, if you can believe it, fireworks attached to them, then making their way to the finish line. But yeah, on to today, where there was an episode of something that happened in my life which really scared me and kept me from sleeping after my night shift. Out of everybody in this room, guess who had misplaced their wedding ring? So, after frantically searching the whole condo and taking a quick nap, I looked around the home a little bit more before the wife got suspicious to the point that I had to finally confess to her and tell her what had happened. Okay, I need your help. After you've done your pizza, mm -hmm. I am trying to find something. Okay, I'm trying to find something. My wedding band. Have you seen it around? No. No? No. What? When was the last time you had it? Alright, so I've been some, doing some detective work and when we were watching The Amazing Race yesterday mm -hmm. that's the last time I remember mm -hmm. I, I see a video of me wearing the ring <laughs> And guys, luckily I have a wife that is kind enough to let me know where I misplaced my wedding ring She also told me where exactly I lost it and after half a day stressing all about it with the kindness in her heart and the help of the wife I finally found my wedding ring. And yeah, thanks again for not killing me today, wife. So that me and my wedding ring live to see another day. We also had an interesting way of celebrating me finding my wedding ring today. To learn more about relationships, communication, and making deeper connections, the wife and I got to start watching season 3 of the Netflix special, Too Hot to Handle. To the point that we made our way through the whole season and finished the show all the way up to the finale. But yeah, for a quick review, this show is actually pretty fun to watch. And if you ask me, the episodes really put me on an emotional roller coaster. So if you haven't already, definitely go check out the show. But yeah, before I try to catch up on some sleep by passing out here in Mississauga, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting with one of my beach volleyball buddies that I've played alongside with for many years now. On the beaches of Ashbridges, this one goes out to you, Danny Mac. Happy birthday, Dan. Next, a birthday greeting that goes out to a childhood buddy of mine. Since the times of Mr. Austin's grade seven class, this one goes out to you, Stefan. Happy birthday, Stefan. And last but not least, this birthday greeting goes out to one of my coworkers, who is a proud mama of her little one, Arav. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Ruby. Happy birthday, Ruby. To my friends that are celebrating their birthdays today, hope you guys are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and I'm hoping that you all had a great birthday today. So this morning, after waking up in a chilly basement, but looking like and feeling like a warm burrito, I woke up before sunrise in order to pick up the wife from work downtown and drove her home so that we could have breakfast and start a new season of The Amazing Race. But after napping for only another hour, 
I couldn't get to sleep because I was thinking about just how cold it was today. So what did I do? I decided to go to a nice warm place that I haven't been to since Halloween. So yeah, you remember this video from a couple months back? Well, that's where I am right now. I'm back at Ashbridge's Bay Park to play some winter volleyball on this nice, beautiful end of January day. So yeah guys, that was a great beach session here at Ashbridge's Bay and it was amazing to get some exercise like this for the first time in a long time. But before we leave you guys for the day, we just have a couple of birthday greetings for ya. Starting with one of my SMIOA friends that lives in the States, who I haven't seen in a long time. This birthday greeting goes out to you Kimberly, happy birthday Kim. Next birthday greeting goes out to one of my beach volleyball friends who I see inspiring me doing off-season workouts. And too bad you're not here at the beach today. Otherwise, I would have greeted you. Feliz cumpleaños. This one goes out to you, Axer. Happy birthday, Axer. And last but not least, a birthday greeting to the former parent of my baby, Minnie. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Dustin. Happy birthday, Dustin. I'm hoping all you that are celebrating your birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and had great celebrations for your birthdays as well. So today, we're chilling at Blue Mountain Resort in Collingwood, Ontario. About to ride their newest ski lift, the Orchard Express. I'm here with my friend, Allison, and a special guest that I'll reveal to you guys in a moment. But for now, let's check out the highlight videos from today's session.
this guy. Yo. What's up, bro? Yo, special guest, Cody. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. But before we go, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. First, want to wish a happy birthday greeting to one of my friends in Detroit, Jamil. Happy birthday, Jamil. Next, a birthday greeting to one of my snowboarding friends that I made a long time ago and still snowboarding with each other to this day. This is a birthday greeting to Codester. Happy birthday, Codester. Yo, Cody, close your eyes for a second. Put your hands out. Put your hands out. A little bit closer. Okay. Uh, open up your eyes. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Cody. Happy birthday to you. All right, blow out your candle that I couldn't match. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, bro. Thanks, man. <laughs> Yo. Happy birthday, bro. Thank you. Yeah. Go ahead, open it. Check it out. No. <laughs> <laughs> Try to shoot it. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's giving you coupons. <laughs> it's giving you coupons. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Hope everybody that's celebrating their birthdays today is doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and is having as much fun as I am here at Blue Mountain. And yeah, don't forget to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.